Here as well is rapper Chef G. Does everybody know Chef? Where is Chef G? Where is he? Come on up, fellas. Rapper Sleepy Hollow. Come on up here, fellas. How are you, man? Hey. Oh, you know, oh I like that. I want to get that done. That's a big show, so good. One thing, one thing I want to say. One thing I want to say. They always gonna whisper your accomplishments and shout your failures. Trump gonna shout the wins for all of us. Make America great again. Thank you, fellas. Appreciate you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's for I like those teeth. I want to find out where you did. I got to get my teeth like that. I want that to happen to me. I hate niggas. All niggas. Black niggas and white niggas. But black niggas, they find more ways to disappoint black people and sell black people a lot than a motherfucker. At least white niggas like Trump gonna stand on white folks business cake ass nigga. But you can always find a black ass nigga that's willing to sell lot, look like a sucker, and be a coon around every fucking corner you turn. I mean, it's not a shortage of niggas that's willing to do sucker shit for these people, my nigga. And I don't give a fuck about what a motherfucker supposed to represent. This ain't no Republican, Democrat shit. I don't care what fucking color you is. This is about this bitch ass, bullshit ass system and motherfucking establishment using niggas time and time again. You bitch ass, dumb ass niggas ain't tired of being used by this bitch ass system. This system continuously shows us that it don't give a fuck about us, but we steady running up on these bitch ass platforms to try to either defend or represent or big up this bullshit to the rest of us. Bitch ass nigga going on with that whole ass shit. They use all these motherfuckers who we view as somebody as some kind of star or somebody with some influence like fucking puppets. Like you niggas is basically a video vixen. You is a hoe in a video for these bitch ass niggas. None of these bitch ass politicians really give a fuck about the average everyday motherfucking person of this country and what the fuck we going through. Majority of the motherfuckers up there is on some self-serving shit. If they didn't get paid and get all the perks that they did from being a politician, how many of them motherfuckers do you think would hold that job? If they didn't get paid and get the perks, they would only find a way to get paid and get some perks and get money under the table like these motherfuckers do. Let me ask you something. But first, think about some problem or issue that you got in your neighborhood or in your community or in your city or whatever the fuck. Now think about how long you've had this motherfucking problem or issue in your motherfucking community. Now ask yourself, why the fuck do you still have this problem when you got bitch ass motherfuckers that's supposed to be in office to fix these problems, but they ain't fixed the shit yet, bitch ass nigga. Every election, a motherfucker jump up there promising you that they gonna fix some shit that ain't been fixed yet and ain't gonna get fixed. But yet you'll have bitch ass niggas jumping up there talking about this the one, this him right here, this her. They gonna fix our problems. This is the answer to all our motherfucking problems. This is the solution right here. This is what all you bitch ass niggas look like to me. Out of all motherfuckers, Trump team gonna get a motherfucking Chef G and a goddamn Sleepy Hollow. Who the fuck is Chef G and Sleepy Hollow cake ass nigga? How many times did they have to tell Trump these niggas names just so he would remember it, just so he wouldn't fuck their names up and let niggas know that he really not fucking with niggas like that there when he called them on stage. I wish I would have been there. I would have yelled out from the crowd, Trump! 
Say a Chef G lyric or a Chef G bar. Bitch ass nigga, I can't say a Chef G lyric or Chef G bar, cake ass nigga. I ain't gonna lie, if I was rich and famous, I would have been a video vixen for one nigga one time. And that was Obama's first presidency. I would have been up there championing the shit out this cake ass nigga. But halfway through that nigga presidency, that first term, I realized. And this bitch ass nigga ain't no different than he white boy. <laughs> Second election, I would have been like, man, fuck that cake. <laughs>